Now that all the snow has finally melted, <laughs> I am once more reminded of the memories I gathered some months ago, which naturally now seem so far away. <laughs> you could say those were different times. Times where it was very cold outside and very warm inside. They felt slow and calm, but passed very fast. I think it was the fastest moving winter I remember because when it got too cold and sad, I changed seasons. It's a gift to know that there are places you can escape to anytime where time and space exist differently to what you're used to. One can argue that this space, mentally, can be reached anywhere and under any circumstances. And personally, I think it can be true. Obviously, my reality doesn't involve extreme, life-threatening situations and I imagine the harsher the circumstances, the more challenging it is to reach and hold uh, this state of calmness and fulfillment consistently. Regardless, in the past I have spent a lot of time thinking that if this or that thing would be different, then I would be happy. And these thoughts usually came to me in winter. And I thought, I wish I could be on a tropical island right now. Swimming and eating mangoes on the tree. That would be just so amazing and so grand. Yet, as I got older and the more complex my circumstances and responsibilities got, I realized that the change of my external environment would not necessarily eliminate the discomfort I felt inside. I would take this part of myself there and it had the power to cloud the brightest day, no matter where or with whom I would be. It was me who let my negative thoughts take over a wonderful moment with someone I love or just by myself. Well, and take me out of this perfect set and setting. And since realizing that, I'm still learning not to let my thoughts loose when they just want to react or fill a quiet place. And also not to dwell on my emotions and feelings because I believe they are just there as messengers so in the end of the day we can either accept or try to change that which bothers us <laughs> And there is really no need to make ourselves feel bad or even somebody else as a result of our reactive nature. Now I try to take every moment as it is, without creating a story about it beforehand or afterwards. And I know that it is very hard to stay present all the time. For me personally, it is challenging to just live in the moment constantly. But I think that the simple act of noticing when you're slipping off or when you're bored or confused or overwhelmed and you're just trying to get that instant gratification on your devices, that's already good and I believe in progress <laughs> and consistent growth. So instead of 
going into that pattern of destruction, we can choose a different path, the one which might be better for us. I don't know. <laughs> I try to think that good things are coming and I try to direct my focus on what I can do to bring about the change I really desire. And I wish the same for you, that you can do that too. And I believe that you can.